Currently, this game has no sound at all. I'm going to show you the overall process of how we can add a wizard's ice gem blast sound to this animation sequence using the Wise Sound Engine. We'll start with the completely blank Wise project. In the upper left hand corner, you'll see the Project Explorer view and notice that the Audio tab is currently selected. Within the Audio tab, you'll see four different hierarchies. Hierarchies provide different features and functions depending on what you're trying to accomplish. The majority of your sound design will be done within the Actor Mixer hierarchy. Within a hierarchy, you'll see a default work unit. Work units are ways that people can work on different facets of a project and then later their work units can be brought together within one overall project. In this case, right click on the default work unit within the Actor Mixer hierarchy. Then we'll choose Import Audio Files. And then within the Audio File Importer dialog, click the Add Files button. Then navigate to the sound that you intend to import. In this case, the Ice Gym Blast sound. Click Open. And then it's going to verify that you want to bring the sound in as what's called a Sound SFX object. Sound SFX objects are the main type of object used for general sound effects. Confirm by clicking Import. If you look back at the default work unit within the Actor Mixer hierarchy, you'll see that the Ice Gym Blast Sound SFX object has been added underneath. By clicking on the Ice Gym Blast sound, we can see in the Properties Editor that we have something that looks somewhat like a conventional DAWs channel strip. It includes a voice volume control, filtering functions, and then you'll see other features that are more unique to sound design and game audio, such as a pitch control. Below that, we can see in the Ice Gym Blast Contents Editor the Ice Gym Blast audio file as well as its overall duration. To verify that the sound was properly imported and that it sounds like what we want to hear, click the play button in the transport control view or press the spacebar. The next step is to link the sound SFX object that we just created to an event object. Event objects catch the game calls that indicate what's going on in gameplay, such as when the wise wizard throws the ice gem. In the Project Explorer, click the Events tab and then within the Events tab, you can see an Events Hierarchy, in which case, go ahead and select the default work unit. At the top, you'll see a set of icons that represent the various types of objects that are compatible with this work unit. Click the Create New Event icon, and a new event object is created. We'll need to name this object with the exact same name that's used for the game call that represents the specific event that we're trying to work with. In this case, Fire, underscore, ice gem, underscore, player. To the right, in the event editor, you'll see an empty space that you can think of as an action list. An action list basically says, what do we want to have happen when the event is received? Currently, the list is empty. Down in the transport control, we'll see that the transport is currently focused on the fire ice gem blast player event. The play button is no longer highlighted because there's nothing currently associated with this particular event. Go back to the Audio tab in the Project Explorer. Now you can drag the Ice Gym Blast Sound SFX object into the action list. You'll see that the action list indicates that we'll play an Ice Gym Blast sound when the Fire Ice Gym Blast Player event is received. To test this, go to the lower left hand corner of the Event Viewer and select the Fire Ice Gym Blast Player event. You'll see again that the transport is focused on the Fire Ice Gym Blast Player event. If we click the play button and we hear the Ice Gym Blast sound, then we've successfully connected the event to the Sound SFX object. The last step is to export a sound bank. A sound bank is the collection of sounds as well as the code that WISE automatically generates that will allow the game to incorporate the sounds according to our instructions. To create a sound bank, we're going to use a different layout. A layout is a collection of views built around a specific workflow. In the main menu, choose Layouts and then select Sound Bank. The view arrangement changes and you'll see that one of the views is called the Sound Bank Manager. Currently, we see a default work unit. Within this work unit, we're going to create a new sound bank. Choose the default work unit and click the New button. The name we use must perfectly match the name we've agreed on in the game code, in this case, main. Expand the default work unit and you'll see our newly created sound bank. 
Now we're going to add the event that we intend to use with this particular sound bank. Drag the Fire Ice Gym Blast player event into the main sound bank and it will be added into the sound bank editor. The final step is to generate the sound bank, but first, Wise needs to know where the sound bank should be located. The location of the sound bank will depend on the game's file structure. You can choose the path for the sound bank by clicking the User Settings button. The location will vary from game to game and platform to platform. In this case, we can see that this project has already been configured with the location of the sound bank for the Windows platform. To generate the sound bank, we can either select the sound bank we want to generate, the platform we're generating for, and the language set that we intend to use for localization, and then we can click Generate Selected. Or, if you prefer, you can just click the Generate All button, and all sound banks will be generated simultaneously. WISE automatically creates and places the appropriate code and audio files necessary to play any included events in predefined locations that will be referenced by the game code. Close the confirmation window, and we can even see that WISE has determined that about 286,000 bytes, or 286 kilobytes, is the size of the sound bank. All we need to do now is play the game. Here's our game with our newly created sound bank. And you can hear that we've been able to successfully add our Ice Gym Blast sound to our animation sequence. So you can see that in only a few minutes, we've been able to take our game from complete silence to sound.